Hey everybody. Okay, so today I want to introduce an idea that I'm going to be talking about a bit more coming up and doing some videos on. Um, but I want to kind of just kind of introduce the concept today because I think it's so important and it's something that I have been really interested in and really exploring for really a while now. But um, I would say recently kind of putting this into a more teachable format. And so really for me what it is is this idea of change, right? How do we actually create positive changes in our life? Because when people come to me, and I've been in this industry now for 15 years, so I've worked with tons of clients, I've done group training stuff, I've worked with students at the college, so I have been involved in this idea of people coming to me saying, I want to make this change in my life. And when I first started as a trainer, the idea was, well, yeah, I'm just going to tell you all this knowledge. I'm going to tell you about diet and exercise. I'm going to give you this exercise program and then problem solved, right? Like now you know, go do it. And I think we all know that that doesn't always work, right? I mean, sometimes it can, but knowledge isn't enough, right? Knowledge is powerful. It's important, but it's not enough. And so for me, it's been this exploration of what's going on there, right? Like how can we know that if I do this one thing, it'll be good for me, or if I stop doing this thing, it'll be good for me. But yet when it comes down to it, we don't, we don't execute. So <clears throat> for me, really what it comes down to is that there are two layers kind of below the knowledge layer that we have to look at and we have to explore. So again, we need the knowledge, right? It's important. It's a vital piece of the pie, so to speak. But below that we have um, a layer that I would call behaviors, skills, and habits, which we'll talk more about. And then below that is beliefs. And we have to look at these other two layers in order to really understand either why we're not changing or how to change, okay? And what I see happening a lot of times, again, is that people are given all this knowledge and then when they're not quite sure how to apply that knowledge because it's a whole nother skill set, they're left feeling like either they can't do it or something's wrong with them. I equate this to like a sports team, right? So if you think about, I, I say I played basketball. I was on basketball teams growing up. And so there's sort of this progression, right? Like you start off in middle school or junior high, and then you can move to high school if you're good enough, and then obviously college, and then the professionals. And I kind of look at that in the same way with diet and exercise. And so if you think about somebody that's just starting off, learning how to play basketball, what the coach is going to do first is explain, give them knowledge. This is how you dribble. This is how you shoot. This is offense. This is defense. These are the different positions. We have to have that knowledge of the game. But then you wouldn't take that kid and say, okay, I've told you all about basketball. Now you're going to go play this game. And you especially wouldn't say, now I've told you all about basketball. You're going to go play in this college level game, right? And to me, that's what I see happening with a lot of the diet plans that are out there. It's like, well, here's a bunch of knowledge. Now I'm expecting you to incorporate this knowledge and to execute this knowledge at the level of somebody who has been doing this for a really long time as a completely different skill set. So we're like, there's this huge gap there that you're not being given in terms of execution of these things and then you're left to feel often like what's wrong with me right why can't I do this and this is happening over and over and over and it kind of gets me fired up because I'm like man we've got to stop this so again what would a good coach do if we go back to our basketball player just starting off right yes we have to give them the knowledge but then the next thing they're gonna do and you guys know this if you've ever played a sport or have kids that play sports is they're gonna do uh, practice practicing of skills right this is how you dribble now you're gonna go and you're gonna dribble over and over and over and over and the first time you do it you're gonna be terrible at it but you're gonna keep practicing and I'm gonna keep coaching you and then you're gonna get a little better and then a little better this is how you shoot the basketball and then you're gonna practice you're gonna practice free throws over and over and over and the first time you might only get two out of 20 but you keep practicing and then the next time you might get three out of 20 and that's an improvement but you wouldn't expect that you know, middle school kid to go in and the first time he gets up to the free throw line, make 20 out of 20, right? And you, if he didn't, you wouldn't say, well, what's wrong with you? And so again, that's kind of what I see happening. I feel like it's so important that we start to explore these, these under layers of change in order to really be able to move forward and be successful. Um, so that's kind of what this is going to be about. And so again, 
Today, I just want to kind of introduce the concept. I'm going to do a separate video on really how do we develop habits? You know, it's, it's very interesting and it's so important that we kind of understand what's going on there so that number one, we can just become aware of it and then kind of use that knowledge to our benefit to create the habits we want to create or to stop doing habits that we don't want to be doing. And then again, a third video on the, I think maybe the root of everything, which is really your belief system and exploring that a bit more. So all this to say that if you are in this and you're saying, well, I'm not, I'm not where I wanted to be. I don't want you to get discouraged. Um, I want you to really just hang in there with me on this and see as if as we go through these other layers, if you can kind of some light bulbs kind of go off in terms of, oh, right. I also want you to be incredibly gracious and compassionate with yourself because change is hard. And I, I, again, I get frustrated with this idea that we should be doing these big overnight overhauls. It just rarely, rarely works. And the fact that we're given the idea that it should is really a disadvantage to, to all of us and myself included because trust me there's tons of areas in my own life where I want to change where there's things I want to start doing and there's things I want to stop doing so really all of this this curiosity for me about this topic comes from my own um, my own life and wanting to kind of understand myself better and then in, in turn help help others help my clients more so that's what we're going to talk about and so in the next video I'll be talking a little bit more about that second tier about habits behaviors and skills so see you then